Hey YouTube, Motor Racing Network, Steve Post here, another great diecast review show, talking Talladega as we get started here, and what about Brad Keselowski, scoring his 19th career win, his fourth win at Talladega, and his second win of 2016, what a run for Keselowski, that old blue deuce, the white deuce, was potent down there at Talladega, and he really did a great job winning that race. Brad Keselowski, race winning diecast available, planbsales.com, in the upper right hand corner, Type in Keslowski 2016 Talladega. You can even step back and type in Las Vegas because uh, those are his wind diecast cars that are available for Brad Keslowski, and you can find those on planbsales.com. Now, when we talk about the balance of the top five, Kyle Busch finished in the second spot. How about Austin Dillon? Okay, one of his crew guys tweeted something like this 17 pit stops, four reps out of tires at one point down a lap in 32nd spot and finished third. Man, that's perseverance by Slugger Lobby and everyone on Austin Dillon's team. What a great comeback for a third place finish for Austin Dillon. Jamie McMurray finished in the fourth spot. Chase Elliott, one of the super rookies, continued in fifth and need to give an honorable mention just outside of the top five. Ty Dillon filling in for Tony Stewart who finished in the sixth spot. Alright, uh, let's get to our favorite part of the show, your questions. They are right down below, so type them in and we'll get a chance to answer them on a future edition of the Diecast Review Show. Racing questions, Diecast questions, something I've got going on. Love talking to race fans, love talking to Diecast fans and answering your questions. The questions this week, first one comes from Jacob Chaplin. How do you feel about NASCAR making the teams put all five lug nuts on the wheel? I tell you, this story really, really took some life. I was actually at the Tony Stewart press event when he made the claims and made the charges and made the story explode. And we all know what happened with the $35,000 fine and back in now five lug nuts. I think that five lug nuts is certainly the safest way to go and the best way to go as long as all teams are doing the same thing. And I think that's what it broke down to. Some teams felt they could do four and other teams didn't feel comfortable doing four. And so consequently, NASCAR had to step in and say five five lug nuts on the car. I'm alright with it. It is a safety issue as much as anything else and I'm not into the a wheel's going to fly off into the stands. I'm not sure how close we were to that but when you're talking vibrations for loose wheels with loose lug nuts I think that's where the safety violation came into play because it was described to me this way and picture yourself unfortunately alongside of the road. You have a tire that you need to replace on the car. When you do it, you put the first lug nut on and then you do the second one and the third one and the fourth one and the fifth one but you always have to go back to that first one because as the hub and the wheel get secured together that first one is always loose. Well it's the same way in NASCAR. There's usually a loose lug nut. It's the first one. When you have five, that means you have four secure and one loose one. When it gets tricky is when you have four and then you have one loose. And some of them were even trying to do maybe three lug nuts. So that first one being loose is where the problem is and NASCAR has mandated all five on the race cars. Keaton Hawken write, Hawkins writes in and says, what do you think, uh, or what race do you think Chase Elliott will win? You know, Chase Elliott, this is the good thing if you're Chase Elliott. It could be anywhere. He has three top five finishes this year and those are at Texas an intermediate track, Bristol, a short track, and this past Sunday at Talladega. That's everything we have with the exception of maybe Pocono, Indy, and the road courses. So Chase Elliott, where can he win his next one? Well, the next one we have is Kansas, and it could be Chase Elliott's race to win. Then we go to Charlotte, then we, then we go to Dover, then we go to Charlotte. It could be anywhere along the way. Chase Elliott could win any time, that team and that driver performance. So I don't really have an idea where he could win because it is wide open where Chase Elliott can win his career first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race. All right, let's talk a little diecast. I know we love to talk diecast as well. And let's talk the local boys when we talk about Kansas and racing in the heartland. From nearby Emporia, Kansas is Clint Boyer, and we have got some Boyer diecast. This from last year. This is the 2015 Five Hour Energy Toyota for Michael Waltrip Racing. This is from two years ago. This is the pink lemonade car. Of course, we have breast cancer awareness that we race for usually in the month of October, but we still have a few of these 2014 cars available for Clint Boyer 
these cars available as well as other Clint Boyer diecast at planbsales.com. Carl Edwards from Columbia, Missouri, not too far away either, and we have 2016 current year diecast for Carl Edwards. Here's the Stanley car, and here's the Aris Toyota for Carl Edwards from Joe Gibbs Racing. So Carl Edwards looking for that home track win at Kansas, and it may be a 2016 occurrence this year, but we have some of his diecast. From Joplin, Missouri, it's Jamie McMurray. Here's a 2015 car that is the Sherwin Williams car, just a beautiful paint scheme on that car. And here is a 2014 Dixie Chopper Cessna airplane machine. Really, really cool that we've got the Cessna colors for Jamie McMurray from Joplin, Missouri. These are the drivers that are from the heartland and consider Kansas Speedway their home track. And well, when we come back in just a moment, we're going to talk a little bit more about Kansas Speedway. This weekend, the Heartland. Kansas Speedway is where we take it to. Jeff Gordon won the first race there in 2001, and we have raced 20 times at Kansas. Remember, 2011 is when we jumped to two races a season out at the Kansas Speedway. When we look among active drivers, Jimmy Johnson leads all active drivers with three wins. Two-time winners, Joey Logano, Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, and Greg Biffle. Lone race winners, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, Brad Keselowski. Now just a little bit ago we shared this diecast. These drivers are shut out, but they can all have a shot to win this Saturday night. And that's right, I said Saturday night at Kansas Speedway. So the local boys have not fared well at Kansas, but I know it's not because of lack of effort. And we'll have to see how they do this Saturday night. It's Mother's Day weekend. Remember mom this weekend. Mother's Day weekend, Saturday night racing for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series. Stay with us. Our question of the week is coming up next. It is question of the week time. Last year we asked you about your favorite Dale Earnhardt memory and it is so cool to read all of those and take a trip down memory lane. Really, really cool memories of a lot of the wins that Dale Earnhardt had and we appreciate you sharing them right down below here on the YouTube page. My favorite Dale Earnhardt memory is not necessarily of him winning a race, but remember that first win for Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the look in his father's eyes when he showed up in victory lane at Texas. You know, being a father, that to me is one of my favorite Dale Earnhardt memories when his boy finally Cha-ching! Won his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race at Texas, and that is my favorite Dale Earnhardt memory. When we talk about Dale Earnhardt memories, we talk a lot about Talladega, and the conversation this week has been a lot about Talladega. Three wide, four wide racing, we know that comes at Talladega, but this time we saw a lot of cars get a lot of air under them. And so our question of the week, and let's not get all nasty and bitter or crazy about it, but our question of the week is, do you like this style of racing and why? So if you do, obviously no nasty and bitter there. Yeah, I love Talladega. And this is why, if you don't like the racing at Talladega, just give us a concise answer as to why you don't like it. We're not big at Plan B at throwing stones at people, but we do like to hear what you like and what you like to see and what you don't like to see. And the question this week is, do you like racing the way we saw it this past Sunday afternoon at Talladega Super Speedway? Great diecast deals, new cars arriving every day. We've got shirts and hats and a whole bunch else. Also, it's all at planbsales.com. Type in your five or favorite driver's name in the search engine up in the upper right hand corner and you will find all kinds of good stuff at planbsales.com. We love that you guys are getting involved with us here on YouTube. We have the comments below. Feel free to mention your comments here. Follow us on Twitter, at Plan B Sales, and we'll keep you informed on what we have. And please get some back and forth conversation going because we love talking racing and love talking with you race fans out there, and we appreciate the business you do give us.